Right. So, obviously, we've got the chickens thrown out and we're going to be burning the legs out in a minute. We're going to be making the most. Next key stage is to get your cafe au lait sauce on. Basically, we need to get a good dark chicken stock. Yeah, that's the key part of it. It's a dark chicken stock. It's not something pale and anemic. If it's not dark enough, you will not get the correct colour. Because cafe au lait is basically a nice creamy coffee, i.e. a good dark coloured coffee liquid with the addition of cream added to it, yes? So we're having something very similar in a chicken sauce version. So you're gonna have a nice dark chicken stock reduction with cream added at the end to give it a nice creamy look, all right? So what do you want? You got a mere part of your veg on your trays. You will have an onion, two carrots, celery, thyme and garlic. What I want you to do, the onions are massive, so half an onion each, yeah? Obviously, yes, yeah. if there's a lot extra one, yeah, just half, we'll give you the half, that will be fine. So half an onion each, um, your two carrots, your celery, your garlic, and half of your thyme, yeah? You need to chop that mirepoix, which is what? Thyme? Rough crust. Rough crust, yes. All right, a nice rough cut colour, yeah? Cutting, so you're not spending so much time on it. And it goes in your biggest pan with oil, I've turned the gas rings on for you because your solid tops aren't as hot as mine so it'll take too bloody long on the solid top. So use the gas ring controlling the heat and that'll speed up that process. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're then going to have your lovely chicken carcasses come out of the oven and then basically they could be nice and golden. If you're not 100% golden, get them on the top, give them a little bit more colour on the solid top. All right? Like I said, it's all about either flavour, roasted flavour, but also the colour. Colour is key to this sauce. If it's too anemic, you won't get the depth of colour. Yeah? It's not like that. Yeah. What did I just say? Appreciate that, Right. Anyone the I'll be here. Then you're going to get, it's all there, 200 red wine and one litre of stock. In your recipe it says one litre of stock, one litre of water. We don't want the water because if not it'll be too much and by the time we reduce it down it's going to take too long. Alright, so we're going to miss out the litre of water, just have the stock. So we'll have a litre of stock, that goes in your pan. Your red wine with your Roasting tray, any excess grease, drain off, back on the heat. This is known as what? Any idea? Yeah. Deglazing. Yeah, so it's a deglaze. So basically, what you're doing there is normally alcohol you would put in, whether it be wine, white, or red, or brandy, or something like that, or even beer, depending on the sauce that you're making. Take a bit of steak and, steak and air pie, deglaze with a bottle of beer. Yeah, stuff like that, you know what I mean? All you're really doing is getting all the residue off the bottom of your roasting tray, yeah? So all that lovely flavour that's built up of the caramelisation of your, your juices of the chicken carcass, you don't want to waste it. So you give it a couple of minutes, take it over, loosening it with your spatula or spoon, and you get all of that lovely flavour goes into your sauce instead of doing nothing, all right? It just goes straight in the pan, it's just a waste of energy, a waste of time, a waste of flavour. And flavour is key. Right, so like so. Another bonus is it helps clean your pan a little bit as well. It makes life a little bit easier when you wash it. It's not that big of a chef, no to wash, obviously, according to my wife. Don't wash up, she dreads me cooking on Sunday lunch because I use every pan in the kitchen. <laughs> She's not a kitchen for her. What we need to do is have a spoon and pop to the side as well, as we're going to make sure that we simmer. So you're not rolling boil, because what's going to happen if it goes rolling boil, Shannon? Any ideas? David? Make all the junk and the other bits come out like impurities. Uh -huh. Just and pass it, make it cloudy. Cloudy, key word there, it's going to go cloudy, yeah? You bring it to a boil, basically, you have stock 
pan, water, and stuff in there, yeah? You gently bring it up to a simmer, uh, moving simmer, it's got to be something happening to it to get that flavour going on. It's gently coming up, all the impurities come to the top and you skin them off. If you become a rolling boil, all that means is that all the impurities are getting mixed back through the stock and that's another way of emulsifying, you're emulsifying them fat molecules back through the stock. And no matter what you do, remember when we did the clarification process on the consomme? That wouldn't even work. Because if you get an emulsified fatty stock, the clarification process still won't work. It might to a certain degree, but you won't get rid of that greasy taste because the molecules are being sorry, too impacted on it. Right? So always we bring it up to, a, up to a reasonable simmer just before the boil, then we'll move it off. As you can see, it's already started, yeah? Already started, so we'll get rid of the excess scum. Keep getting rid of that, keep skimming it, keep coming back to it, getting rid of the excess grease, excess scum out the carcass, excess scum out your vegetables, yeah? So keep doing that, so that's what we need on the side. So if everyone gets away and get that done, because by the time you get your stock on, using your gas rings, nice colour, your carcasses should be ready as well, yes? Yes, yes, yes.